Well, after the recent snowfall, many of us had, have had to go out and shovel. For Bemidji residents, questions about the city's sidewalking shoveling ordinance have been raised. Now Josh Peterson has more on what you need to know. When it's January in Minnesota, certain things come to mind. The cold, the snow, and of course, the shoveling. Bemidji City Ordinance requires that property owners clear their sidewalk space in front of their property after the end of a snowfall event within 24 hours. It's the neighborly thing to do because it keeps Bemidji safe for people that are walking out. And they may be an elderly person. It could be a postal carrier trying to get mail to your house, uh, people in wheelchairs. While some residents are happy to comply with the ordinance, others have taken to social media to vent their frustrations after shoveling their sidewalk, only to have a plow go by and create yet another shoveling job for residents. Large snowy ridges like this one can make it extremely difficult for people to walk safely across the sidewalk. That is why the city of Bemidji has the sidewalk shoveling ordinance. Just ask Carol Olson. She is currently walking with a cane and having to maneuver unshoveled sidewalks has raised her awareness as to the importance of keeping the walkways clear. It is hard to get around and then you come to somebody who has not shoveled and it makes it really you, you're looking for the next person who's shoveled to make it easier to walk. If the city of Bemidji receives a complaint about an unshoveled walkway, a notice will be issued to the property owner. Then, if the sidewalk is not cleared after the notice, a fine could be issued and the property owner will be billed for the removal of the snow. It's, you know, snow in the winter and it's long grass in the summer yeah. for us and we're, we're trying to Make sure our town looks good. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The city wants to remind residents that it is against the law to shovel snow into streets or alleys. And we have all the information about the ordinance on our website at lptv.org news. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.